you're new here, I'm Julianne and this is all about my life living in Seoul, South Korea. Right now, I am actually in South Carolina, so this vlog is going to be quite different than my usual vlog. Long story short, I came home to America to surprise my mom and the rest of my family, but slowly as the time kept getting closer, more people started finding out because I was freaking out since a huge storm was... I mean, basically hitting America, but especially in Buffalo, like Western New York area, they got one of the worst blizzards um, in history. And I think right now, over 30 people have actually died. It's, it was a lot and um, today is Wednesday and things are finally getting back to normal, but it was really upsetting because I could not get into Buffalo. And I could not actually get into Buffalo until about midnight on Friday morning and my flight to leave back to Korea was going to be at 6 a.m. Friday morning. So I am cutting my trip a little bit short and I'm going to be going back to Korea on Thursday morning. Um, but yeah, I got to spend time with my brother and my future sister-in-law. So that's been really nice, but it's like a really bittersweet thing because I'm really happy that I'm home and I really wish I could be home, but also I know things that are going on at home right now, are, it's just not safe and there's like way bigger things to worry about. Um, so it just sucks. It's It was supposed to be like a really fun Christmas surprise and I did get to spend Christmas here with um, Sarah, my brother, my future sister-in-law's family, um, so that was really nice, but yeah, things are just a bit chaotic. I have not left the house though, so this is my first time and my last time, um, or my last day in South Carolina. So today I'm going to just take you guys around. We are gonna get some like dessert. I have to send something out to Rachel. And then I just want to buy a few winter candles for my apartment back in Seoul. So let's have a fun day in South Carolina. <laughs> The gingerbread houses. We have Barbie. So good. This one's vanilla. Oh, I love that. And this is home, which is cute. Oh my god, it's three dollars. I don't want to do this because it's now. Three dollars and seventy-five cents. I have so many hairs. But they're so cute because they're no. I know. I have one with like bears on. I like this too. Yeah. yeah Wait, what if you can find your name, like your letter for your J S? Wait, let me see. I make it for like charcuterie boards. <gasps> that's so cute. Wait, that's so nice I too. at the Christmas tree shop which is really nice because it's everything that you possibly can need and it's like really really cheap I think everything that I got including vitamins which vitamins and the medicine were probably the most expensive things it came out to be 69 US dollars but um again I have not been in America in two years I'm not used to small talk I am not used to people 
like I'm just used to speaking like very minimal Korean saying like yes or no to like do you want a bag do you want a receipt I'm not used to like small talk <laughs> and so this girl I bring up my basket and I realize I'm supposed to take off like I'm supposed to take out all of my products and like put it on the thing so then I'm like okay so I'm taking out all my products I take my basket and I put it to the end like where I'm supposed to pay and she takes the basket and she like whips it down and Sarah looks at me I'm just sitting there like bounced. oh my god yeah it literally bounced off the ground she like whipped it down to the ground and then she's like oh do you want to sign up for our emails we have like a sweet safe going on whatever and I was just like oh no I'm like not really from here and she's like whatever and then but she like said in kind of like a sassy way and then she's like oh it's no biggie like it was funny because she was like giving attitude but like then Welcome like trying to not to yeah and I was just like that was so much <laughs> This mug. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, oh, with like a little, no, you're good, with like a little recipe. Slim Jims for Tori. Then I went ahead and got some vitamins. So Sarah said that these really helped her grow her nails and her hair. So I got these. Mucinex because I feel like I can't find anything like this in Korea. If you guys happen to live in Korea and actually know something that works like that, please tell me. I get these in Korea all the time, not the Tiger Balm ones, but I'm running low and I'm nervous to travel without having heat patches, so I got some of these. Then Tori always talks about how she loves taking vitamin D, so I got vitamin D and this was only like $7. Then I got these candles, so I got the New York, London, Paris one, and again these were $7.99 and then 50% off. This one is the family one. Again, this one maybe was like a dollar. It was $3.75. The most expensive things were the medicine for sure. Home is where the heart is. This home one, again, for maybe like a dollar or two. And then last thing I got was this little cute candle. So all white so everything will match my apartment. And yeah, this is all I really needed to bring back to Korea. So. That will never go. Mm. That will always be there, no matter what. Mm. I'm sure you can respect the decision of for course, that. Of course, of course. It's, it seems sweet. A lot of things in Korea are sweet though. What do you think? <laughs> uh, honey butter almond, tiramisu, or wasabi? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Yeah. Is that spicy? Yeah, no. It's like, it has a tang, but it's not bad. That's good. Be 